It's easy to believe the marketing messages out there that say that if you write a book, you'll become an instant expert and people will hire you to speak and pay more for your services. But there's a problem with this message. That only works if you write the right book for you and your goals. Stick around, I'll explain and help you match your book to your goals. Hey there, I'm Julie the Book Brad. I'm an Amazon overall number one best-selling author and the founder of a fabulous self-publishing services company called Book Launchers, where we will help you write, publish, and sell a business and brand boosting nonfiction book. One of the big parts of our service is that we have a marketing team who not only guides you through creating a great launch, but we also help you market your book post-launch by doing things like pitching you for media attention, podcasts, speaking engagements, live appearances, and we work with retail outlets to help you get distribution for your book in physical locations. We also will manage Amazon ads and more. There's a lot of things we do to help you get your book into readers' hands. So let me tell you something that a lot of people aren't telling you in the book publishing space. Marketing a book is hard work. And we market with our authors, not for them, because it is a team effort to do it well. And if you're marketing the wrong book for your goals, you're not going to see the results you want, and you're probably wasting time and money. What do I mean? Well, let's say your goal is to become a paid speaker. You want to give keynote talks at corporate events and be paid to amp up a group at the start of an event or at the end of an event. And you write a book because you've rightly been told that many booking agents will expect that you are an author, that you've got a book. And you've also rightly been told that a book will increase what you can be paid and that your book will also be sold as part of your speaking fee. But here's where it goes wrong for authors sometimes. They write a good book, but it's never going to get them the engagements that they want. I saw this with an author that came to us for marketing help. She'd hired a very talented ghostwriter, and together they'd written a humorous and engaging story about how she she left her corporate job to take a year off traveling with her family, and today she's created a highly motivating and engaging talk on how to break the corporate chains and live your best life. Now, I'm blurring details because I don't have permission to share the story, but I think I've given you enough that you're about to get the point. So she struggled to get media attention from anywhere but kind of travel and family type blogs. She wanted to be in Entrepreneur Magazine and the Washington Post and some other big credible media, and she wanted to do paid speaking engagements and had been invited to speak at smaller events but they didn't pay. And she wanted to know why she wasn't getting paychecks. The problem, she wrote an interesting book, but she didn't consider who is paying people to speak right now. Take a look at the core story and message of her book, breaking the corporate chain to live your best life. Now, look at who pays people to speak. It's not exclusively, but it's largely corporations. <laughs> so how keen is State Farm or Google or AT&T gonna be to bring someone in to talk to their employees about breaking the corporate chain. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a problem with her market to message match. She wrote a good book, but it's the wrong book for her goals. She has options. She can change her goal. She can change her message. She can write a different book. But prevention is the best medicine here. And that's why it's so important to get clear on what's in it for your audience and what's in it for you and make sure you're writing a book that will set you apart and get you to your goal. It's not about writing a book. It is about writing the book that will get you where you wanna go and impact the people who are most important for you to impact. So if you wanna be a speaker, look at who is paying people to speak and make sure you're writing a book that will lead to paid speaking engagements. If you want a book that generates leads for your business, make sure you've clearly written the book to appeal to the exact ideal customer for your business. If you want a book that boosts your credibility and makes you the known expert, make sure your book will help you stand out. Don't say everything that everybody else is saying. Find what makes you unique. I recommend looking at what everyone else is saying in your industry and find the stuff you disagree with or that actually makes you mad. Those are good areas to focus on to differentiate yourself. You have to be different and stand out. And you're gonna do that by being a little controversial. The 1% in the world are the 1% because they're best at creating a message that gets the attention of the right people. If you want help with writing the right book and getting it in front of the right people when it's done, let's chat about your book idea. Go ahead and tell me about it at booklaunchers.com application. Like this tip? Smash that thumbs up button. Try it, it feels so good. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and turn those notifications on so you can comment the day a video is released because when you do that, you'll be entered to win some sweet book launcher swag 
And you can join the ranks with my other YouTube besties, an elite group of incredibly cool people like Brian K. Morris, Brian Crossman, who even sent me a copy of his book when it came out, thank you, Miss Amber, and Mojo Sidilak. I do not know how to say that one, <laughs> but I know you're around all the time and I'm grateful. Since we're speaking about speaking, these two videos right here are must watch to help you book speaking engagements as an author and leverage them when you get them. So check those out. Go ahead, I'm waiting. There's nothing more to see here, but there's lots to see there. Yeah.